Alright guys, if you are looking for the best graphic settings with a lower end graphic card on your PC for Call of Duty Warzone, well here goes. Uh, so basically these settings have helped me improve my play as it gives me the best balance in terms of visuals and FPS. It is very important to have good visuals in Warzone. Uh, as much as you do have good FPS, however you cannot have the best of both if you are on a lower end PC. I used to play the game based on high FPS by lowering all graphic settings but I noticed one thing. I was at a big disadvantage because my enemy sees me better than I do. So I found a good balance for this and let's jump right into it. Okay, uh, let's go over to the options menu and navigate towards the graphic settings. Uh, so let's start off with the display mode. Uh, it has to be on full screen. Um, I tried out uh, full screen borderless and I noticed uh, there is a slight difference in FPS. It it, it gives a gain of about 2 to 3 FPS uh, not much but uh, I recommend you guys going on full screen here uh, display monitor just leave it as the default monitor that you use uh, and uh, the display adapter uh, if you guys are running on a laptop just make sure that you uh, check for your graphic card because you might end up selecting uh, the integrated graphic card which will uh, make the game struggle uh, and uh, the FPS count uh, the ref I mean the refresh rate uh, should be matching the one on the monitor uh, mine is 144 Hertz and uh, okay so uh, the render resolution um, make sure you keep this as 100 uh, but uh, if you want uh, more FPS you can lower this but I recommend keeping this at 100 uh, to get the best balance for visuals like I said earlier uh, and in advance uh, you just see the original resolution of the monitor uh, aspect ratio you leave it as automatic uh, we think we need to disable this to not have uh, input lags uh, uh, frame uh, rate I would say uh, leave it as custom and uh, the gameplay custom frame rate should be at max uh, and the menu you can leave it as max as well but I prefer keep it at 60 and 30 uh, when it comes to focus uh, custom frame rate limits um, Nvidia highlights I have disabled uh, because this is no use for Warzone. It's not going to record any play of the game, so such things. Um, display gamma, you leave it as it is. Uh, so, texture resolution, I have used low. Uh, I recommend you using normal, but uh, using normal will uh, reduce your FPS by about 10%, I would say. Uh, and uh, so uh, normal normal is good if you can have it but low is the best to get that balance um, uh, texture filter leave it as low particle quality you leave it as low uh, the reason you leave particle quality low say for example if the enemy uses a bomb on you you're gonna get FPS drops and you're not gonna know where you are uh, bullet spray impacts uh, this is personal preference uh, if you want to know where bullets are hitting uh, I just leave it disabled because uh, it doesn't affect me anyway tessellation I leave this as disabled as well gives you about two to three more FPS uh, shadow map resolution has to be low uh, because it uses a lot of uh, uh, usage from your graphic card and uh, will help you on your FPS. Cache spots and cache sun shadows uh, 
it's personal preference again and uh, I would recommend this going on disable if you have low RAM because it's not gonna make a difference particle lighting again leave it as low uh, ambient occlusion you disable this and space reflection you disable this these use a lot of GPU uh, uh, power so make sure these are disabled uh, so when it comes to anti-aliasing I would say you select SMAA1X uh, the reason why I haven't gone to off is because SMAA1X gives you that slight visual quality where uh, your uh, edges are much sharper and you will have better visuals based on that uh, depth of field I would say it's personal preference again but I recommend you having it enabled helps you zoom into your enemy and makes your shots easier uh, that's my personal opinion on that film grain strength again I would put this as one uh, because it blurs out the rest of the area and focuses on the target uh, that's personal preference again uh, motion blur on world and weapon I would say just disable that uh, and film grain um, I would say uh, leave that as zero but that's again personal preference because I've seen some people uh, having film grain on uh, they say that they see things better but for me it's at zero so uh, this is uh, the basic graphic settings then we move over to general uh, oh make sure you hit apply before you move over to general uh, so on this uh, field of view it's very important that you get the max field of view in this game uh, because it's much better to see the corners and uh, uh, you, uh, it, it, it also helps uh, you uh, to have an edge uh, on the battlefield uh, so I would recommend 103 this is what I use for overwatch as well uh, so if yeah, of course when you increase this uh, you are gonna struggle with FPS but 103 is good uh, but if you need a bit of FPS gain uh, you can always uh, lower it uh, so that's about it from the graphic settings perspective um, uh, for everyone who wants to know my graphic card is a GTX 1063 GB so I get about um, I would say about 70 to 80 sometimes 90 uh, FPS in game depending on the area but it's on average about 80 uh, so that's good enough uh, if you're running a low-end PC all right that's about it uh, and this is the settings that I've been using since of late um, and this is something I would recommend for anyone who's having a low-end PC uh, so yeah if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you in any way I would appreciate if you could subscribe on my channel thank you very much for watching this video